Welcome, I'm Rosa, and this is Purple Luna Rose Tarot. All right, welcome back, everyone. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you'd like to join our tribe, don't forget to like and subscribe. Today's reading is going to be what the DM wants you to know. So if you are Divine Feminine, this message could definitely be for you. We're going to start out with the DM's current energy. What are they currently working on? So we have number 22 coming out. Have faith. So DM definitely dealing with spirituality, spiritual beliefs. Um, there's definitely been a shift in this DM's spiritual beliefs. Most likely this person was not very spiritual at all um, until this journey started. Let's use the Llewellyn Tarot and clarify the energy a little further. So we have Eight of Pentacles. This DM is definitely focused on his work. The Eight of Pentacles, too, is also about um, almost completing an achievement. It's very possible this DM is working on something, um, most likely something that has to do with monetary value with the Pentacles. But the Eight of Pentacles does say that this person has almost reached their goal. The goal is the Ten Pentacles. Next, we have Knight of Wands. Um, knights are messengers. They're very courageous. They bring messages. And then, of course, wands is going to be fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And the message will be about an action because wands are action. And look at this, ace of wands. So I feel like this particular DM is definitely trying to bring a message about some sort of new inspiration. Aces, of course, is always new, new opportunities. This is a new opportunity for someone to take an action. Next, we're going to look at what messages the DM wants to say. What do they want you to know? Wow. So the first one to come out says, I can hear you. And so I feel like if I'm talking to Divine Feminine, who's definitely trying to communicate with her Divine Masculine, Divine Masculine sending a strong confirmation that the messages are getting through. Everything is going to be okay. So I feel like it's most likely um, there is some form of separation here and you're not able to find out if everything is okay. And I feel like that's why Divine Masculine is letting you know. I'm trying to figure things out. So I definitely feel like Divine Masculine working on something, like I said, with the Eight of Pentacles. Let's pull one more. I'm trying to send you messages in your dreams. So right now what's happening is this Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, definitely communicating with each other. I just don't think they realize that they're communicating with each other. All right, we're gonna use the Gilded Tarot to clarify. Let's see what we get for I Can Hear You. Wow. Ace of Cups. So Ace of Cups is normally about new romance or new relationships. This is actually a new understanding of love. So I feel like this Divine Feminine is definitely teaching this Divine Masculine about unconditional love. Let's see what else we can get. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Goals. There's new goals here. Everything is going to be okay. The Fool. I feel like Divine Masculine is letting Divine Feminine know that they're almost ready to take the leap of faith. Or maybe already have. And the Strength card. Having to pull from inner strength. Definitely dealing with an inner conflict. I'm trying to figure things out. We have Ace of Pentacles. This Divine Masculine definitely trying to find a new start. And Temperance. Definitely healing happening. I feel Sagittarius and Leo energy strongly. The full card represents Uranus. And Uranus, of course, rules Aquarius. I feel like this Divine Masculine is definitely working on spiritual healing. And trying to find themselves a clean slate, a new start. 
Let's look at I'm trying to send you messages in your dreams. Guys, check out the PLR guided dream journals in the description box below. My guided dream journal will ask you specific questions and will definitely help you interpret your dreams. We have the Seven of Swords. Um, I do feel like it's going to have something to do with deceit, keeping something. Um, something could be blocking you from getting those messages. Interesting. We also have the Five of Swords. Yes, definitely. So I definitely feel like there's some sort of problem with communication. Um, this Divine Masculine is definitely trying to send Divine Feminine messages. Um, but I feel like for some reason, it could be that someone's trying to keep it from you. It could be that your own negativity is keeping it from you, Divine Feminine. Um, Five of Swords to me is many times about negative thinking. All right, let's close the reading out with some guidance. And we're going to use Angel Answers. Let's see what Spirit has to say about the situation. Wow, let go comes out strongly. So if I'm talking to a divine feminine, having a hard time releasing the divine masculine, releasing expectation, um, definitely could be what's blocking you from being able to communicate telepathically. Um, in the more spiritual realm, spirit's definitely telling you to release, let go. We also have the situation will improve. I feel like it definitely will as soon as you release and success. Um, so the messages will start to come through. Compromise is on the bottom. So this Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine definitely got, went through something turbulent. With the Strength card and Temperance, I definitely feel like there's some massive healing here. But this Divine Masculine, I feel like the message that's definitely trying to come across here is that they understand the journey and they're willing and ready to put the work in. All right, I'm going to leave it right here. I hope this reading was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'm sending you abundant love and light on your journey. Thank you.